Hey! Okay, I'm looking for this problem we had with the um, that's off, that's off. Okay, tell me if I have an echo today. Again, can you guys hear me clicking the mouse now between those scenes? Because I noticed the, the mic was on on those. I'm, I think it's my Yeti that's doing the problems. Anyway, um, I don't know how many of you guys are going to show up for this, but um, this is the one of those surprise streams that I mentioned and I'm just going to organize my pattern so it's pretty chill and I just thought you guys can um hey Sydney nice to see you I know it's a little later than usual so maybe no audio issues okay great I can't figure it out nice you heard the clicks yeah see my microphone should not be on those scenes and it is no echo all right, I'd have to change scenes to do that. You can, okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I didn't say anything or sing or something. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> That's so weird. So I wonder, so um, Streamlabs updated today, so something's going on. Anyway, anyway, so I'm um, just gonna organize my pattern. I'm a bit blurry. Me or the table? Hello, MG, how's it going? I'm a bit blurry. I mean, with my glasses, I'm not surprised. Let's see if I can um, change that. I'll put the autofocus on. Did that help? Did that make it worse? It might be the lighting in here. The lighting is kind of funky on this side of the room. So, so anyway, these are the patterns uh, we're talking about that I'm talking about making maybe. So I don't really need to organize these. Pretty much this is my whole pattern collection. Everything on the rack right here um, is almost all patterns I've made. You could hear me ironing before I came on live. I wasn't ironing. I wonder what you could hear. <laughs> That's so funny. So uh, these are mostly all patterns I've drafted or some PDF printouts from companies. And then I put them over here, or these are the ones that are like folded up, you know. I have an empty bin on the floor and I keep kicking it. So I was just thinking I would go through and do this. It is a bit blurry, huh? I can't tell with my glasses. My glasses don't work for this distance. <laughs> All right, so you're going to see some really old patterns of mine. Um, I just noticed, like, the look how old these patterns are. Can you see some of these? <laughs> look at this one. I think someone gave this to me to make them something. So this is what they're going to look like. I'm going to put them in these clear sleeves. These were really affordable. It's nice and compact. I, I'm so excited. So, hey, Chris. Oh, thanks. This is the Myosota dress by Deer and Doe. And I'm wearing it with jeans, so the top half looks a lot better. <laughs> oh, I bought this giraffe and I never made it. These are all patterns I drafted for her. Um, Sandy Henderson. But I still like, I still, even though they're like already in this sleeve, I'm going to do this so that everything is consistent. You know what I mean? I could probably take it out of the sleeve, but I'm really probably never going to sew her, these patterns. So, you know, but Beverly, that's what Michelle said. And I don't know why that is. The only thing I can think of 
is that um, the stream when it's uploaded is rendering somehow. So yeah, so it's the Mayo Soda dress by Deer and Doe. I love this dress. I've made it in a gingham and I made it like this. And in the gingham, I made just short sleeves with no ruffles. And I didn't make that on camera. The gingham wouldn't play nice with my camera. These are from um, from Amazon and I have them linked in the description. I now have affiliate links just to be clear. Someone's, I've been badgered by by so many people, not in, not you guys, but other people to do that. So I finally did it. I actually had to have a talk with my husband about it because I was like, I don't feel comfortable with this. He's like, it's fine. He manages the Amazon account for his company. <laughs> He's like, it's fine. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel weird. So yeah, I bought um, a lot of these. <laughs> Let's see, I have, I bought three packages of, what well, doesn't say, I feel like there's like 50 in there. I know I have about 100 patterns right there. <laughs> so, and I really want them all to be the same size so this time and I'm already putting these in in the wrong way I want these going this way Adina does this too she uses the same thing and I was so thrilled when I saw that that's what she does too because I was like okay great that's my idea thanks Chris I mean you know I don't think it's very much so but still I also what I like about that actually those links is even if people don't buy things using it, it at least shows them what I'm using. So they, if they want to find it somewhere cheaper or go to a local store and support their local store, they can. And they know what they're looking for. I haven't ordered all those things from Amazon before. Some of them, yes, but not all of them. Like, obviously, I even put my sewing machine in there. It's really so that people are just like, I wonder what, and then they could see, oh, look, here's a link to it, and they can go, oh, yeah, you know, that's what that is. Um, interestingly, the one thing I thought was really interesting was, um, do you guys know this tracing wheel? I know Terry's seen me use it before in Sydney, too. But do you see this tracing wheel? This is my tracing wheel from college, by the way. <laughs> and um, do you see that it, the points, how sharp they are? This is the kind you want. So um, when I was looking for that in the Amazon list, I saw Waywax pop up and I almost automatically linked it. And because they called theirs needle point and it's not, it's not needle point. You got to make sure if you're using it as a tracing wheel like I do where you're um, perforating paper with it through fabric, it has to have those really sharp points. So, hi April. Oh wow, really? That means a lot to me. Thank you for saying so. Hi Lydia. It's so nice seeing so many different people at this time of day. Thanks Lydia, I appreciate it. You have one like that too, Chris? Yeah, that's the kind you need. The other kind I think is for um, carbon tracing and that's not the kind I do I think it works great it's just not my kind this thing is I was like I eh, will never use this and then I was like you know what as soon as you get rid of this pattern you'll, you'll need it I'm gonna oh make sure I'll leave it in there I think what I want to do though it's got it's even got newsboy caps. What the? Oh, this is not a vest pattern. This is a tie and a hat. Look at this hat. <laughs> that is pretty derpy. I love it. But look at that. That looks like the um, Sorrento bucket hat we made by Elba Textiles, which is a free pattern. But uh, look at that. You can make a bill with a cap. I didn't even know it had this. I used it for the tie, I'm pretty sure. And then my husband is was a fencer, you know, with with epes and and uh, uh, one year he wanted a doublet, a doublet. <laughs> so I made him one. Turned out really great. It was really fun. 
So for now, I'm just gonna put those in there and then I'm gonna organize them. Ah, are you in Australia or, no, 9.20 a.m. Yeah, are you in um, Oceania? Gilligan, totally, Beverly, exactly. Um, this is not a pattern. Oh yeah, this is, I want this though. I was about to teach a class locally my, my kind of my first one and then the pandemic happened <laughs> it's a time capsule <laughs> and I want to save it just in case I ever do that so I know how I worded it because I agonized over it you know oh it's 11 yeah Lydia exactly I know I probably won't see a lot of the euros right now <laughs> right Chris oh yeah I feel you on that for sure all right, this one. I felt like I was, when I was looking through these, putting them on the shelf, you know, there's nothing like handling everything you own. Actually, can I put, I really would love it if I could put like the, I think if I ever go the extra mile, what I'll do is take a photocopy of the, the back of the pattern, you know, the, the part that has like the, the flat sketches and all the measurements and I put it on the back of this so I don't have to get it out to read it so this is my first step of many you're not sure oh okay great okay well welcome I get so many comments from folks in Australia and New Zealand and I feel so bad that my time zone is very incompatible for streaming you know Beverly I think that for the most part, I'll do it by company. And then, um, but others I'll do, like these children's patterns, I would probably do a children's section. But like for, um, you know, like for closet core, I would do closet core. That's how I want to do it again, like this. I don't want to not think about this while I'm doing it, because I know that when I put these in here, I want it to sit like this to me as I'm pulling it out of the shelf so that I see the top of the pattern. So I want the flap to be here. See, I'm being very intentional. <laughs> and and the other thing, like I'd probably do costume stuff like that doublet and maybe I would do men's. So there's a few sub things I would probably do just because they're go-to patterns. Men's, children's, accessories. And then the um, all the women's wear would probably be by a company because that's how I think of it. I would think of the company first. Yeah, exactly, Chris. Well, I really like hearing feedback from everybody, you know. So I appreciate that. Hi, Cecile. <laughs> There's a lot of you here. Do I have the live viewer? Oh, I do. Oh, the little viewer thing's cut off. Okay, see, like this one was... Um, folded so I want it like this right I have to think about this and then I'll probably try I'm kind of of two minds on the the rack the rack is organized I did lose a few of the the things you I don't think you can see them but um oh here so I lost a lot of my things when I moved but these are, I put these little homemade rings on my rack. And the way I did it on here was, well, a lot of these are chicken boots things, but I do women's, men's, accessories, kids. Ooh, I'm so consistent. <laughs> See, Beverly? See, I'm still thinking that way. I think when you're organizing something like this, it's like when you have something important that you don't wanna lose, you know? I always say put it in the first place you think of unless that place is just totally crazy put it in the first place you think of because it's probably the first place you're gonna think of when you're really looking for it you know what I mean so and that has saved me so many times don't put it in a place that's logical to other people unless they need to find it you know but I don't know about you guys, but for me, I'm the finder in my house. 
So if they're going to ask me for it, I want to know where it's at. Yeah, I'm pretty consistent. <laughs> yeah, the PDO patterns, I agree. So I have some hanging on the rack, and that's what I was about to say was that I'm of two minds. Like, in some ways, I'd really like to get a lot off of that rack, but it's pretty pared down. And right now, as long as it's not growing past this rack, I'm happy. That's fine. I keep paring it down. But my wedding dress is on that rack, <laughs> you know? So of old patterns, that's probably one of the older ones. That one and some biking uh, things I did for a friend's company. And I know he probably doesn't have copies of it. And he might want to address it someday, you know? And then, um, oh, and like... Just certain old patterns I have, but for the most part, it's all chicken boots or sewing with you guys on there. And so I don't really want that to get much bigger. Because, you know, if I take it all off of the rack and get the PDFs folded in stuff like this, then I'd have a gigantic amount of this to organize. <laughs> You're the loser. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> You're a winner here, Cecile. <laughs> I had all these envelopes from a project we did at Chicken Boots, and so I was thrilled to use them, and now I'm kind of feeling a little bad I'm not using them. I'll reuse them for other things. You need the guinea pig foot <laughs> and a mouth. <laughs> oh, that's right. I made a guinea pig that was 75% size. I love doing things like that, you know? Okay, trying to be methodical. This is not methodical. There we go. I need to get good at putting them in like this. Okay, yeah, that's how I need to do it. Like that. Yep, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like that joke when you're a kid. Um... I don't know how you set it up, like, but the whole, you've lost something. Where would you find it? And it's always, the, the punchline is um, the last place you look. <laughs> hey, Nicole. How's it going? Yeah, my wedding dress. You know, like when I got married. Not when I, des like I designed it, but you know what I mean. Just my, just my wedding dress. <laughs> my friend sewed it. Bad luck to sew your own wedding dress. That's what I told everybody else so I wouldn't have to do it. <laughs> My friend Rhonda, though, she sewed it. Oh, such a good job. So amazing. Such a better sewist than me. This is how I want it. Yeah, okay. All the old Colette patterns that they don't even do anymore. Why do I keep getting... Turn it around. There we go. This flap's going this way. I put it down face down this way. All right. So maybe if these were a little too bulky like this, where there's all this negative space around here, maybe I would go through and then take out the pattern pieces and offset. You know, like even we could even do this. And then offset the, um, I will get this right eventually, probably on the hundredth one. But it would have to be this way. These also come in colors. So Beverly, uh, was that you Beverly that asked about how I'm gonna sub Organize. I think that, see, look at that. That's much flatter than this. See? It's better. Hey, Walter. Ah, oh, you had to work. Yeah. Ha I, I have not kept up with Trello. Oh, but what, I was just going to finish that thought. Like, um, if you wanted to organize your patterns based on color sleeves, you could do that. 
So if this was sitting out from the bookshelf, this is what I would see. I like that, actually. This is kind of nice. Okay. This, maybe I'll just start with doing it this way because this is kind of nice. Um, I haven't kept up with Trello, but I have it on my list with this project to do that. And I think my plan with, with that is I think once I have all these kind of organized is I'm going to compare what I'm missing, right? And I'm, I'm gonna make a binder. And then I'm gonna make a binder with just the picture or Trello. I mean, I don't really wanna triple do it, you know? Like, <laughs> I think printing a copy of the fabric requirements in the back of the envelope way. Yeah, exactly. And so for Trello, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know what Trello is, I, yeah, I have that penny. You see this? I have those. And I just want to be able to see inside. And I want it to be nice and flat. Look at that, how nice and flat that is and crisp. <laughs> um, Trello is this, it's like yet another app and another thing to manage, right? But this is what I do. I only take a picture of this page and this. That's it. Or if you have to open up the pattern to do that, great. That is all I do. I take a picture of this and this on my phone, on the app, and I title it the entry on Trello, and that's it. But if you want to really nerd out on it, you can put in your notes about it. Like you can put in an infinite number of like organizational type of things with it. This is why I like it, and this is my argument for using it is when you're at a fabric store, especially like say you were traveling really far away and maybe on your trip you're like, oh, I'm really, I'm a good sewist. I'm gonna be very disciplined in my fabric shopping and buying and everything. But then that fabric, you see it and you have to have it. And you know it would be perfect for that pattern you have, but you don't have the information for that. We well, can just open up Trello and see that. You know, and that's all you need. So um, that's why I use that. And it has saved me so many times because I will be in the fabric store and their inter the internet signal isn't very good. And I can't look up Instagram or hashtags or their website or the name of the pattern and they don't sell the pattern. So that's why I use it. And when it's up to date, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's what I'd like to get back on track. And I, I have a lot, but admittedly, I've fallen off of the Trello train. Oh, Syra, what's what's a sauna? Is that like a similar app? And it, is it free as well? Okay. Ooh. Look at that. I feel so smart. Let's see, this is a Colette pattern. Man, Colette's evolved over the years. <clears throat> They've really done a lot of different things. This isn't really gonna help. Do we really need the box? Do we? Let's just flatten the box. How about that? We'll compromise. Oh, because look, we have a thing on the back. Perfect. So we'll do this. Is the box too big? It might be too big. Some of these patterns, um, I really used to love Colette patterns, but some of them in the later years, they had a lot of issues, so I never got around to making them. Uh, this is probably, like, going to make some of you cringe. Ugh, I'm about to cut the top off. <laughs> I kind of just want this. Yeah, I'm doing it. My pattern collection. There we go. Solved. Except I did it backwards. It's free for basic. Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I bet there's a paid version of Trello. Yeah, so I could never do it for fabric. That was just way too much. I go through too much fabric. <laughs> Look 
at that. It looks so nice. This one's kind of too tall to do that with, but. Hmm. My hope in doing this is that this method takes up a lot less room on the shelf. Oh, that's smart, Barbara. Barbara, just turn the back. Thank you. Yeah, the um, that is that's smart. I my daughter was like, you don't use albums? No, I don't use albums. <laughs> I'm kind of wishing I would have gotten the color coded sleeves now. But at the same time, I didn't want to commit to figuring out exactly how many I needed at the time when I was buying them. What is this? I'm kind of scared what I might pull out in front of you guys. <laughs> um, all right, here's, this is just the, the Closet Core Patterns plant, Pant Adjustments. This is the uh, Sokka Kimona Named Clothing. Okay. Oh, I love this little pant primer from um, Threads Magazine they had like in the 90s I think 1999 <laughs> put it with my what is this oh these are all my free patterns that we've given on Patreon alright all right, so we can put all those in one thing look at this little snail pin cushion I've always wanted to make that Oh, Barbara, I just don't find things and I don't show people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that idea too. I think that that's so smart, just an album. And so say you get a new phone, as long as there's room in your cloud, right, it'll carry over. I'm going to keep that out because I bet I have more to add to that. When I saw that Adina already does this, I was like, gosh, yet another reason why she's so smart, you know? Okay, this is blank slate, blank slate. This is acacia. All right. Uh, four A's in underwear making. <laughs> yeah, that was be so quick just to do the albums of your patterns. Okay, this, why can't I keep this straight? I ended up making my own underwear pattern and never even used these. Oh, it's right here, okay. Um, and Christy sent me this one and I think this one. Remember Christy? Um, let's see, Sydney. Kind of. A little bit at an angle, but pretty, yeah, pretty snugly, yes. Like, it's not bad. Yeah, they fit. So, um, that's the other thing is, like, I only provided a link to this particular envelope. But when I first started looking, there are these, if you start searching um, for dry erase clear sleeves, those are all different colors and they're intended for educational um, people. So what they do is they'll put the kids like uh, homework, they slip it in the sleeve, which opens from the top down, which I thought was kind of cool. And then they can write on the outside with a dry erase marker and then they can reuse the handout. So there's a billion of those and those come in lots of different sizes, so be careful. And be careful because the overall dimensions are different than the pocket. And a lot of them were listed by the pocket dimensions and that's why I didn't get those because I really want these to sit like this, like this on my shelf, not like this. You know what I mean? Because I wanted it to be like books on my shelf. I'm so tempted to put both of these in there, but you know what I'll do. I'll see this one on the shelf, and then I won't think it's in there. So, and I have plenty of sleeves. Your picks are on iCloud. Yeah. Perfect, then. Oh, yeah. That's great. 
Right, Walter? I know what you mean. Yeah, I, I like it, though. I love keeping it all, like, compact. <laughs> okay, what's this? I'm scared to see what this is. What is this? Oh, this is my sagebrush top hack. <laughs> this can probably go hanging with the pattern on the hook, if that's where it's at. And one of these days I'll do this right side up, right way. So let's see, all I have left for this bin are these right here. So it's safe to say that these take up a lot less room because they're consistent size. So that's pretty cool. Cashmere Alcott. So this is how Hart sends me the pattern. See me copy. Make sure you don't leave any pieces behind. <laughs> that would be a drag. <laughs> I want to make this again. This is the problem. Going through all your patterns, all you do is go, oh, I want to make that. <laughs> right, Walter? I know. <laughs> does that, uh, that, does, that website feel good fibers do they sell patterns because aren't they feel good fibers is that place that I've never I've only been on their website once so I, I don't really go on their website but I know they sell like it's a place for people like us to sell fabric we don't want anymore that's in you know good quality fabric That. What is that? Link Stream Labs link. All right. What is this? Is like gold right here. White, white version swung out the back two inches for a total of four inches. Shortened as pinned. This one worked great. Yes, exactly. It's like um. Well, I think. If you're a knitter, you know that feeling really well. <laughs> you know? I think I'm going to use... I'm going to use this removable tape. I'm going to get rid of the messy top and bottom. All these things, oh, I'm probably going to throw that one away since that's the designer that accused me of giving a pet weight patterns for free. Okay. <clears throat> What's this again? Toaster? This is something I have to admit, I wish I had, like, I, I, um, when I made this, I was like, I just keep thinking it's in my closet. Oh, Allison. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, at my last office, they kept a lot of plans like that. And I just thought, I guess you hope to never use those again. <laughs> That's such an interesting filing system. Architects really need a pattern rack, a rabbit punch, and pattern hooks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the other thing I do, do because my paper rolls get like that, they get really tight. And so I have to roll it the other way. Oh, this is one. Of, oh, no, this was for um, hearts. This is a, I should probably look at this pattern because this feels a little bit like cultural appropriation 
So maybe I should um, look at changing those videos. It's tough with any folkware pattern, you know? I get a, a lot of people watch, watch this video. The Tibetan Chupa. Aster. I just haven't worn my asters in so long, and I wore both this week. Why is this so thick? So I kind of want these. See, this was when I was really making an effort on organizing my patterns. You know, I would make a copy, blow it up, paste it on back, front and back. <laughs> like a good little organizer. <laughs> Maybe I can... Um, Just, hmm, I'm going to cut this off. This feels so thick, I keep thinking there's pattern pieces in there, and there's not. Okay, I'm safe. This way, this envelope now won't go to waste. I can still use it now. Ha uh ha. -huh. Thanks for being a Patreon patron. I just saw you signed up. Yeah, I'm going to try and have more streams at better times. Yeah, of course you have to work. <laughs> okay. That worked pretty good, huh? Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. That actually is very pleasing to the eye, these colors together for me. <laughs> Wait, is this the way I want it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I will get it right. I will get it right. <laughs> All right. What's this? It's a risk with every mouthful. Okay, let's see. Tilly and the buttons. I totally forgot I made this. Loved it. See, that's the thing. When I send them to hearts, I forget that I've made it. Ooh, this one, uh, this one could use a plastic sleeve. I get this pattern out probably six times a year. Archer button up. I don't know, will I get that, will I keep that straight eventually? I don't know. Has anyone ever made the view that looks like this. It's an interesting back, but I've never done it. Okay, so I have notes on this one too. So I even just rabbit punch directly through this. So it's a hole right here. And then I can hang it up. Um, I even have this on the rack. I'm trying to remember how I have it. If I have it as a separate pattern tracing or, cause remember I made that o o reversible over shirt. So let's see, we can do this. Do I want, yeah, we can just do that. Save it. I make like, I made uh, my brother one of these this year. I usually make my daughter and my husband one. That works, okay. I completely forget I made these, the saffron jeans, because I didn't keep those. They, those were saucy. Remember those? those were saucy. You have no, I, no need to draw attention to me. What do you mean? <laughs> For what, Barbara? Okay. Okay, so that was one whole bin. So let's see how, so this is Colette. So that could go now with the Colette. And 
And what I also like about this is this will make the PDFs and the um, store bought like. Because I have like three cash marit, right? These will be all the same size on my shelf now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I watch a stream that has um, someone in the chat that has a cat that is just com completely takes over their keyboard all the time. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that, look at that. Can you see that? You can't. Hmm. I'd have to move the camera. Let me move the camera. I have to go all the way over here. the screen to be able to see what I'm showing you too. Okay. So that middle bin right there is, uh, there's three on the top shelf there. Like right, can I show you this one right here? <laughs> That's now pretty baggy in there. Is that a word you use to describe a shelf? Baggy. But um, those take up a lot less space. So that's great. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't need it's for that shirt. Exactly. <sighs> it was mute. <laughs> oh, I know. Our dogs were kind of like, um, I don't know what you're talking about with this time change thing because our bellies are saying different. I gotta find this pattern. This was a pattern, the Asaka, I printed from, uh, I used Sprout Patterns. So I, I did Sprout Patterns, which was the service that Spoonflower had, and they printed the pattern pieces directly on the fabric. And then you just cut out your, you just cut out your fabric. You didn't have to lay out any pattern pieces or anything. It was awesome. And um, then they send you a PDF copy of the pattern. So that's what that was from. So let's do these. So that, I'll do the far bend. This is gonna need the most work. These are mostly all my patterns though. Oh heck, I'm gonna start with this and go to the next. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. All right, so these are my free patterns. I want those out because I'm about to come across. These are the cozy slippers. Yeah, these are all, all mine, all mine, mine, mine. Yep. Well, there's the oven mitt. That's a lot of oven mitts. All right, so. Let's get rid of all of these. And. this. I need space. Yeah, you gotta, you definitely gotta clear off the table, huh? Oh, cool, April. That's really neat. I saw, do you know Fair Trade? She does um, athletic clothing and her name is spelled F-E-H-R. Fair trade. She just started offering projector versions of her patterns. So that's kind of cool. So do I keep all these in one thing? I mean, probably. I should probably kind of revamp some of these. All right, let's probably all add to that. Cozy Slippers by Blank Slate. Oh, neat. I know a minimalist machina, machinist, m minimalist machinist on Instagram. She's really been uh, working on using a projector as well. And I think if you join her Patreon, she shares all kinds of tidbits on how to do it. It's not even something I ever considered doing. 
Okay, this is my... Aw, we don't have Stella anymore. Remember when I did the draft, how to draft your own bodice? And I used Stella, the dress form, as my sample, but I sold her on my move. Cricket was like, can't sell Stella, I want her. I'm like, what are you gonna use her for? She's like, I'll just put her in my place. I was like, all right. And then um, I, <laughs> I didn't know, this, was, this all happened, you guys, during this month of moving. This past month was the weirdest month. So I decided, someone was like, try Facebook marketplace to sell things and oh nice sydney oh projector for pa pattern layout oh we can talk a lot about that um so i i was trying to sell two sewing machines right two sewing two sewing machines and then um a dress form my whole booth from my business and no one was replying to my emails. Like I was kind of putting it out there to a couple of groups that said, hey, if you're ever selling things, let us know. We'll send it to our newsletter. And then they didn't reply. And I was like, okay, I'll move on to someone else. And then someone else didn't reply. And I was like, is this just me? You know, like when everybody's ignoring you, you're like, maybe it's me. And then you realize, no, they're just all ignoring you. <laughs> so then someone said, I was like, I, tr I looked at Craigslist. Craigslist is so weird these days. I think this is the wallaby. Yeah, here's the wallaby. And so I, tr I don't really have Facebook except for, hi, Nancy. Um, oh, okay, Dorothy's daughter. There you go. Cool. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try and use Facebook. I'm really bad at it. And I listed a bunch of things as a trial, just like three things. I think um, I listed a dress form. Oh, and two office chairs. I had two standing height, brand new office chairs. It didn't work with my tables. And so I waited a few days and I checked, I checked Facebook each day. I really did. And I didn't get anything. So I was like, okay, I'm just feeling kind of hopeless now. And then one morning I was sitting there eating breakfast and I looked at Facebook and I had, I had 12 messages. So I don't have messenger. So I didn't get those notifications. And so I opened their, they have a messaging thing inside the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> and so many people, I ha so I had four inquiries on each of my three things. So, and people were getting so mad. They were like, why post something if you're not going to keep up on it? How dare you? I'm really interested in this. Please, come, I'll come by right now and pick it up. And I was I felt so terrible. It was like instant indigestion eating my breakfast. I felt so bad. So then I replied to all of them. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I sold all three of those things that day. I sold, I could have sold the dress form to 12 people. So um, Cricket was, I said, how bad do you want this? She goes, oh, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Um, and then I decided, okay, well, I'm going to try the, I'm going to try the, um, sewing machines on there. Sold them the same day. <laughs> it pays to pay attention. And I told all of them, all of them that I understood, they're like, oh yeah, it's a really weird platform. It, you get delayed responses. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh no, April. Oh, cause you have to label, yeah, your cut pieces. So we used to use computers in marker layout. It's called marker layout when you lay out your pattern pieces. It's really great. Uh, I actually did it on Procreate. I should probably talk about that. Okay, wait, let me catch up with chat a little bit. <laughs> that's who you watched, um, Dorothy's Daughter. Okay, great, and that's for projectors stuff, right? That's cool. Right, Nancy? <laughs> Daily sews. Okay, gosh, the projector thing seems to be big. Oh, wow, Allison. What a steal. See, I should look on there to buy something. I feel like I could probably... I don't know. Do that. Oh, here's a project I never did. I, You know these lanterns? So if you were my neighbor, you would know my house because we have these in front of our house. We had four of them all the time and I changed them seasonally. I really love these lights. I just like lights in general. 
Um, I have huge snowflake versions for the winter. Um, and so everyone knows our house. And not now, though, because we moved to the country. I always had this idea to make a house lantern. You know? I'm an idea person. A little house out of fabric and stiffener. I haven't let go of this idea yet. <laughs> yes, Nancy, I so am with you. I was so nervous about that and it ended up being okay. And then I was literally like that weirdo telling my husband, I was like, someone's coming to look at this thing. So, you know, will you, <laughs> I'm nervous. Someone's coming to my shop right now and I'm here alone, you know, and uh, people were in my shop during a pandemic trying out my machines, you know, all super nice people. It, it was really a great experience. Yeah, do you, Chris? See, and you, there's electric candles, so it wouldn't catch on fire. Yeah, Nancy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, is getting a cover stitch on. That's why I was like, oh, I bet there's someone who's just not really into it, you know? I could try it out. If I don't like it, I don't get it. But that means dealing with people. But it was, so, it really saved me. I ended up selling everything. I was, I was kind of getting to that, like, what's not stapled down? I'm going to sell it. <laughs> it got kind of dangerous. And my husband was like, we have two propane tanks we have to sell or give away. And I was like, you should try Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> he had the same look I did. I was like, oh, I know, babe. I don't think he's logged on his Facebook since last year last century <laughs> well here's the jewelry case I was just making the other day with you guys on stream what's in here pattern pieces oh yeah 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 because see look it was for a book and so these are the pattern pieces I submitted to them for the book and I had to give it to them on a marker that's what this is right here I'm just going to get rid of that now. I really don't need all this stuff. Pattern pieces, everything, everything. So the marker thing, who, who I mentioned suggested that with the projector. So uh, that is totally a possibility. I think, oh, I want this. Do I want this? Um, I, what I did was I scanned in my pattern pieces for this project I'm doing in the design and marketing series. And I, my bag is done. It's right here. I won't show you the fabric I'm using. This is just a trial, but this is the bag design. I finally finished it, ordered my fabric and, um, it's got this kind of like little cocoon look to it. And then you can hold it, do it like this or like this. Let's see if I face it towards the camera like this. Or you can lay it on its side. And so I scanned these pattern pieces in and put them in Procreate because I was like, hmm, what if I design fabric around on the pattern pieces to fit and print them out directly onto the fabric? Hi, Adina. <laughs> Hi, Ray. So, um, and then I was like, oh, I could totally use this for marker making, you know, as long as you, and you could do it with PDFs, you know, as long as you have that little, you need that four inch square on there, something that makes it really easy for you to determine how big your thing is. And I think Procreate has a limit on size. So, uh, okay. That's that whole bin. Oh, those are my free patterns and there's nothing pretty on the front. This, I would take that out because these were all mine, right? Yep. Ooh, this bin's full.
it's getting messier and messier. <laughs> Adina, did you get clear only or did you get colors? Because I think that um, colors would have been kind of helpful. Like you could put men's only in one color and children's in one color, tops in one color, bottoms in another color. But then you'd have to kind of have a lot of extras, you know? So, you haven't missed anything, Ray. This is all I've been doing. <laughs> On the angle, if there was only come from one side of my table, I'll move the pad. Oh, for, okay, yeah, that's a projector question. I missed the, I missed Sydney's question. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. There's a projector sewing projector for sewing group on Facebook. I've heard really good things about that. <laughs> cool. Only clear? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I could I can then not have to worry. I don't want to get too obsessive about it, you know? <laughs> Uh, I like making bunting occasionally, you know, like hanging flags. This is my pattern and my sophisticated yardage sheet. <laughs> uh, you know, let's put this like this. This was... I'm gonna get rid of those. Oh, that's cool, Nancy. That works. <laughs> right, Chris? I know. I there's um a lot of people who do that lurk in chats, you know? Like they say lurk for that reason. These are all like these were all the ones I made for my sister and my and my niece. We'll keep the welt pocket. I don't know how useful it is. We know where it's at on Patreon too. And here's the sample. You could even do this with things like this. Like say you are um, wanting to do a bunch of pants one year and you want to do the zipper fly. You could do yourself a little sample and put the powder pieces in one of these and just always have it to refer to. Because maybe you won't do jeans for a year and then when you go back to do it, you're like, how do I do that again? Oh, this is my jammy pattern I'm gonna make and it's held together with washi tape. And it's not my proudest pattern drafting moment, but I use what's on hand. And here's the back. Oh, right, Penny. Yeah, I know. I just make um, rainbow buntings. Good for every holiday. <laughs> April, I know. My husband's been getting them for like 10 years. Masks. Beatrice. More Ben Ben. Didn't I have a Ben Ben one? Oh yeah, I did. And maybe I'll just put these in here then. Just in case my sister or my niece need more bins. Cause I made a bunch of uh, organizational trays for their art supplies using the lid pattern. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to get to the folkware pattern. Oh, it's called, Cecile, it's called Feel Good Fibers. You know, it's a different color tape. Oh, zero. That is so smart. I was trying to get rid of so many things while I was moving, and I had my parents over, and I was like, do you need any of this stuff? I literally have about a, I had, I, got, I sold 30 bins of, like, those to a friend, and I have... I had like I have like 30 more and then I have probably another 40 of different sizes. And so I was told my parents I'm like do you need any of this stuff please take it. And um <clears throat> and I was trying to give my mom all this chalkboard tape and um 
chalk markers, you know, because I use it in my booth to mark things because it's more permanent than wet erase or dry erase. And it looks kind of cooler, you know, the chalkboard thing. And so uh, she was, and I was like, you know, I wonder if I could use this because I have this thing in my house, in my bathroom, where I've taken all the pictures. How do I know this is Beatrice? Like, how will I know? Um, or maps. Of, I've taken maps of all the places. Not They're not all the places, but we've traveled a lot. And so I put frame all the different maps and I just keep expanding it in our bathroom and my mom's like my only complaint about this is that I don't know where some of these places are because there sometimes it's like a city maybe you don't know the city the country that it's in and so I've been trying to figure out a way to label those and I, and I realized oh maybe I could do a chalkboard chalkboard tape so maybe I could do chalkboard tape on these because you could end up doing it like at different levels too on the edge so for me this is going to pull out like a book so this is basically the book binding you could put all your women's and label them up here and then maybe overlap a tiny bit do kids and then men's and then that way you can easily find the spot to put them too you know <laughs> oh right april i know oh right nancy i have that too yeah, my, my daughter has so many bags like that right now. She's been like organizing stuff and or and uh, keeping it all washed. Oh my God, look at these pattern pieces. I know they don't seem important. This one right here though is my, it's a template. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> and it's for other things. Okay, so, oh, that's that designer. I feel a little salty about that, aren't I? Okay, so this is the accordion. And I actually have the accordion pattern still. Maybe I'll just put these chicken boots one in one. That's what I'll do. I don't really need them, need them, but they're handy to have. So. Oh yeah, Nancy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kept telling my daughter, I was like, can you, do you think you can donate this? She goes, no, they're not open. It's a pandemic, mom. I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> these are, this is all the quilting stuff I own. Fits in one envelope. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, it's five p.m. Okay. okay. I want to make this quilt. I like the effect. I want to make this one here. Sorry, the glare right there. Uh oh. Remember my mini phase? <laughs> Have I found my bag of pocket patterns yet? Uh, my bag of pocket patterns. I thought the only thing I lost was my bag of pattern hooks. Add a quarter. I think I'll just keep all this kind of together. I have my, I do have these. These are the pattern pieces I always keep near here, this near the stream. So I have my fly. Welt, fly shield, diagrams of my sofa, because I plan to make something for it. And this is my pocket that I keep. And these are patterns for my niece's stuffed deer. <laughs> Important to have those close by. I'm trying to think what it is, Nancy, you're talking about, because I do feel like I did lose something. I don't know what to do with these. Someone told me I needed these, never used them. I have to figure that out, so I use these someday. I'm just gonna put this kind of stuff in here. This is my tell me a story quilt thing, so you can see through. This all goes together with this. Okay, so yeah, I'll do that. I'll do the thingles. One. Oh! Do I collect them? I feel like I do know what you're talking about, but is it pockets? That seems so familiar. What do you think this is for? Well, if I don't know now, I won't know again later. <clears throat> if you're sentimental, it's it. I'm just gonna warn you, I can be a little triggering. 
I'm, I'm not sentimental and I get rid of stuff. Drop of the hat. That didn't look like it was sentimental though, right? So. There's that. I have all these thimble blossoms. Someone told me these are out of print. I wonder why. These little tiny, tiny quilts. They're really cute. I love how tiny they are. I'm kind of into that, you know? <laughs> After this many years, <laughs> now I don't have, um, I can kind of, I've lost so few things, Adina, that funnily, me and Rayanne still talk about this one cone of thread that disappeared. Because we didn't, we both don't lose things. I made this. I made this quilt right here. This is one of my uh, FFOs, as Walter calls them. It's the back side of it. It's cool, though. It's really cool. I really just need to finish it. It's got all the goodness of rainbow. It's been hard to find the quilt batting. Does that really need its own envelope? Garment pocket patterns. I don't think that's me, you guys. <laughs> is it me? Okay, wait. This is the, my ambitious mini series phase. Is this the... I often print on the back of paper. My prescription. I print on the back of everything apparently. Where are those little minis at? Oh, here they are, right? I know, Adina. Well, exactly. Exactly our point. How could it disappear? And, you know, we have a certain number of them because we needed four for the searcher, two for her machine, two for my machine, two for the binder. Sometimes if uh, they let us buy less, we would buy two less than that. And we would just switch. Because we, we, two of us couldn't use four machines at one time, right? But two of us could use three machines at one time. So, yeah. Um, we, like a couple of years after that, we finally thought, you know what? I wonder if it fell into a trash can off of a sewing machine. That's the only thing we could think of. The only thing I don't like about this pattern is it's gigantic. And so this is my idea. I think I'm going to make the pattern pieces and then reduce it and make a tiny one. <laughs> I've used one of those, Nancy. It was so fun and so flipping fast. I uh, got to use it at a uh, tailor's shop that I worked at. Remember the crazy lady I worked for? Okay. Well, this was a fun stream. This was for the sponsored um, high neck sweatshirt. Remember that? Now everybody's coming out with these. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, this pen's going to take me a bit, though. So this is a PDF pattern that I've never cut or sewn. So let's see how this goes. I thought I had a picture of it though. I could swear I had a picture of it. Huh. I may have to print out a picture. I'm just not thrilled with how these patterns fit anymore. Oh my gosh, Chris, that's a big quilt. Right, Adina? I know, I have lost things like that in the trash can too many times. <laughs> oh, this one turned out really good. I love this dress on. Maybe I should make a short version. 
So this is what I do. So to get my, when I have a big old thick thing of the papers to put on the rack, uh, sometimes, you know, these instructions are pretty good. There's space for a hole, maybe not back here. So what I do is I tape these pieces to it. That's why I always have these ugly things. And then I can hang this with the pattern on the rack. That's what those are for. Because the rabbit will only go through, well, it'll go through like a few of these kinds of pages, but it'll only go through two oak tags easily. And um, I sometimes already have these instructions all, you know, stapled together. Or hearts will give them to me all stapled together. Yes, exactly. They just disappear in there. Yeah, that's a pretty common thing. The things just fall in the <laughs> trash can. Kellyanorak lining, because the pattern... Was this a PDF? Hearts gave this to me, but I thought they gave me a printed pattern. Oh, it's getting messy. Oh yeah, so we could put this with this now, finally. Good thing I don't have to sew on this side of the table because it's getting worse before it's getting better in here. Ooh, this is stretching the limitations. <laughs> or I'm going to find the limitations of this pocket now, I think. I could probably fold this a little nicer and then it would fit better. Oh, but that still fit really good. Look at all that. That's pretty amazing, you guys. This is great. I'm excited. Oh yeah, Nancy, that's fun. I try not to magnetize my pins, but you know, why is this open? Um. They're all magnetized anyway. And so sometimes I do use a magnet to find some that I know are down there, you know, that I can't find. Ears. Make sure there's no other animal parts in there. So this is also a collect pattern. I just hope these things hold up because environmentally I don't want to replace these, you know? These right here are, they're in the description. I now have um, Amazon affiliate links, but you don't have to use my link. It'll at least show you what they are and the size I got, but they're just a clear sleeve pocket and it has this little snap on it. They're not gusseted. I thought the gusset would take up too much space and I'm really glad I didn't do that. And then um, there's also uh, like ones for educators to use where you slip in like their homework and they dry erase on it. And those are called dry erase sleeves. And there's a ton of those out there and they're all different colors. like. They're, um, they're bound in fabric. They're clear, but then they have binding and then in primary colors. And they come in lots of sizes, so just be careful. <laughs> yeah, Chris, exactly. I know, exactly, Adina. So quick. This was Heather Ross's. And I made her... Quilt or kimonos, hand painted kimonos she made once. 
But I don't think I have the... Oh, here they are. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Adina. Yeah, they have a little snap. They have a little snap right there. They feel pretty sturdy. So much uh, cleaner, too. So this was a really popular pattern at the fabric store I worked at in Humboldt. I have a funny story about this dress. <laughs> and it is pretty, it's pretty fun. Um, there's a lot of like fun stuff you can do. It's very hippie in a way. Like it doesn't have to be, it can be very folky. And so I made one, you guys, I was 26. And um, I worked at this fabric store when I met Michael. So he met me. Well, I won't even, like, I don't have to tell you the whole story about how we met and everything, but he did not meet me in a sewing capacity. And so when um, I, you know, like, we started dating, you know, and doing the whole, like, little, oh, look at this, the sketch of it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Um, he, you know, wanted to stop by and see me at work. So he stopped by the fabric store. And I was wearing my hollyhock dress because, it, you know, it's encouraged to wear the things that you sew. And I had done mine in purple and lime green. Like, I love those two colors together. I think, you know, like, if you've seen pur that dark purple and lime green together, it looks really good. And so I think this skirt was dark purple velveteen. And then I had these godets in it. I don't know why there's hand-embroidered dragonflies on there but I could have hand embroidered it like I went all out on it I have all this like stitching here yeah the whole thing of course I just sold that at a store someday but when he saw me he was like oh <laughs> he's like you really get dressed up for work like I had my hair in braids and stuff like that you know I thought I looked really cute <laughs> <clears throat> But it was pretty funny seeing his uh, expression. I'm famous for just selling things I don't wear anymore, too. So it's a shame I don't have that dress. I doubt there's even a picture of me wearing it. So, and then um, this, too. Like, this was, oh, yeah. I mean, we went, He when he had his doublet, I wore this. And we went to a Halloween party. The only Halloween party I pretty much only ever been. Yeah, right, Adina? It's such a good combo. We'll be sad if these don't fit in here, though. Oh, they do. Okay. I mean, I don't even know if these companies are still around. Oh, yeah, and here's the, the doublet I made for him. <laughs> I loved working at this fabric store. Oh, I can't shut the thing. So maybe I'll just do the removable tape here. I mean, when am I going to open that, you know? I could just leave and leave it in this, but this thing is getting pretty tired. Oh, my old dot paper. I did pattern drafting for him, apparently. Wow. Look at these instructions with all the decoration. This is pretty cute. He still has his. I don't have mine. Isn't that terrible? I'm terrible. I'm such a terrible person. <laughs> God. I'm just realizing like his doublet is still in the closet. And my little bodice that I made for that dress is, I don't have that. 
Okay, this can go... Okay, and this too. This can go in the... Um... Don't I have a... Do I still have that out? Maybe. Yeah, let's put these back. Yes, Adina. Removable tape. I'll show you a box of it. Just a second. This is removable tape. <laughs> I am, Chris. <laughs> yeah, so a, a doublet, a, a doublé is, um, yeah, kind of a Renaissance era vest with a little peplum, micro peplum. I do have more clothes than him, but I also try and keep it manageable. Yeah, so the removable tape is great because it's um, better than washi tape, by the way. If, you know, like you can use washi tape, it works pretty good. But this, I want that pattern out. Um, it, it works really great. It's definitely essential for pattern drafting because you can pick up and re remove and, and I usually just have a bunch of pieces sitting on my dispenser and I write it on here and I have another blue one. I, you can tell when you feel it, you can tell when you start using both the difference pretty easily. You just got Crayola pins. Yeah, exactly. Right? No, this one is great. You can make one roll last a long time because you can reuse these pieces. And yeah, it doesn't hurt anything. It's great. And it's pretty stable, you know, like it'll hold things pretty good. But it's great like if you're, uh, say you want to um, tape pattern pieces together because you're maybe doing a long measurement across and you really don't, like they're weird pieces and they just don't want them to shift. This is great because maybe you can't use your weights to do it or you don't have enough weights. So yeah, it does really help. This is a chicken boots thing. These, this is um, when we talked about grading. These are all my like little stream tools. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. The It is good for wrapping presents. I never use it for that though. Smart. I mean, washi tape is kind of fun for decorating, you know, uh, your letters and stuff like that to people. What is this? So, so chicken boots, zip double project bag. This is the needle keeper. This is the double double. Oh, I already need my labels so bad. I need the labels on here really soon. <laughs> This, see, I even tape them, tape pattern pieces. This is t tiny, that's why I don't hang it on the rack. And that reminds me, I have these sitting here too. Sometimes you can tape your, or transfer your pattern pieces that you use a lot to mylar. That's all Sharpie around the edges there. <laughs> Doesn't break down, it's really great. Um, and that stuff isn't always called mylar. I don't really know. The person who told me it's called Mylar, I've never heard another word for it, so I don't really know. This is, this doesn't go here. Into tiny handles, that's smart. <laughs> medical tape. Really, Nancy? Well, there is medical tape, but it's more like bubbly, um, textured. I, saw, I just got some text. I just realized my family's probably like, when's she coming home? Um, zip double. Pocket bucket. I don't think I've done the project bag.
and use a label maker. I don't have one of those, but I could see it being really handy for this project for sure. Here's another Decades of Style pattern. We like this one. My mom really likes this apron. She wears it. I made one for her after I made the one for hearts. This one needs an envelope for sure. This is, uh, do you guys know this gal? I know some of you probably do. This is Wendy, what's her name? Wendy, um, this looks like it's home printed. What's her name? Is it Wendy Ward? Or is that someone I know? Wendy Ward, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. British. And this is a skirt. It's kind of an A-line skirt. I made one before I started streaming and it's, um, it's cute. I just modified it a lot. Oh, so here's a zipper. Oh, no, this was the, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the button fly for the Morgan jeans. Handy. <laughs> That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, you did the telescoping one. Oh, really, Ray? That's so funny. Yeah, and is it called Mylar Ray? I don't really need it. It was really important at one of the places I worked because we used the same pattern pieces over and over and over and over again. And um, that helped. Look at that. I could this one. I could slide. Okay, these these this company wins the award today. Look at that. I could put the back, the front. <laughs> Someone was just asking about a men's underwear pattern. This one was really great. It has a few views. We made these like last August or something, and my husband wears them. I thought he wouldn't really like the fabric I used. Um, what do I do about these? I don't know, do I have this pattern, the Hudson pan? I sewed these. I can't remember where the pattern pieces are though. This might be one of those things that's on my rack. I got this for free from Needle Sharp when I bought fabric from her. I was like, I think you accidentally sent me this for by accident. She said, no, 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 it's for um, buying something. And um, it's a pretty cool little book of noodle head patterns. We'll have to make something out of here someday. I don't know. I don't really know about it. That was pretty nice. Oh, cool, Nancy. When I was growing up, my mom always had medical supplies from work. She was a nurse. And I just grew up having like these weird medical supplies that we used as first aid supplies. <laughs> the name Mylar is not on the card. And that's what I kind of figured. Oh, so this one too. We can put these in here. Yeah. Ellen wins again. This is Ellen Mason. She's Odossier on um, Instagram. Okay, anyone seen this one before? I used to make these all the time in polar fleece. <laughs> this brings back some memories for me. Oh yeah, and there was a fleece sock pattern somewhere along the way. I bet I could wear, make this for Cricut. And she, it'd be really cute on her. Oh, this is frustrating. Oh, I cut the, I saved the pieces of the different sizes. What else is in here? I think it's just that. But what is this right here? Oh, that's the bomber hat. I started making it so much I had to transfer it to Oak Tag or Manila. Man, these envelopes, I mean, 
for everything but those two things. They fit everything. This is the old folkware catalog. I still have this. I don't know if I really need that. Here's another one. Hmm. Anyone ever gone down a um, folkware rabbit hole of sewing? Because I did. I love the, you know how you guys were talking about, uh, like I was saying I want to do a, a pin tuck blouse. I'm kind of tempted to do a folkware pattern because I have all these. For Look at, I have three versions of basically the same kind of. <laughs> this one's not the same, but these two. I've made both of these. Sold both. I'm so bad. If my mom were watching me, she'd be like, yep, you're bad. I would have friends ask me, call me up and say, Sammy, I was at the such and such thrift shop and I saw, I swear I saw one of your things there and I know it's yours because it's like, you made it. I know you made it, but I'd see it here in the shop. Is that an accident? Do you want me to buy it and get it? I'm like, so embarrassed. I'm like, no, I donated. They're like, what did you donate for? It's not precious, right? Herculean polyester drafting film. See, now that's the most descriptive title ever. Okay, Folkware wins today as well. Look at how easy these are. Look at how nice that is. Hubba hubba. This is feeling good. So tell me more about the la label maker, Adina, unless you're busy. I don't really want to get a label maker, but what do you guys think of for labels? You said, someone said washi tape, which I kind of like. That's cute. Washi tape, I think, might eventually come off you notice I have to check every single time I never made this Japanese Pacoma and now I probably would not I also never made the Bolivia milkmaid jacket but I attempted to use parts of it and I never finished that project. What is that right there? Oh, I know what that is. I don't need that. Okay. And I'm not Bolivian. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, right, Nancy? Me too. Like pulling out a basting stitch. Yeah, good way to put it. All right, I really want to get labels on these now because they're kind of a little, they all look the same from the edge. The others were a little more, um, like before I did this, <clears throat> that was a little bit more, I, I recognized things. Not in the big envelopes though. Okay, that's pretty full. I feel like when I do that last bin, it will... I mean, I could just do it. I think overall, I'm gonna gain a little bit of space, but not as much as you'd think. Yeah, that's true, Walter. I like that idea. Yeah, and the wash tape, I think it'll curl. I think you're right. Okay, so these are the things. Oops, don't set that on the computer thing. Um, I'm going to have other spots for. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want any of you. Um, Colette used to make this really cool sewing planner. They still make this thing? I obviously don't use it very much. Oh, this was one of the ways I was organizing my patterns, though. So I would take the 
photocopy front and back and then just have it on hand. This is before I had 200 patterns. So cute. <laughs> These are the squirrely ones because they're all about the same. I can probably put this away and this I want to put in the Morgan thing. So now when I'm sliding them in, the thing I notice is that if you're not careful, you know, this can this flap can get caught on something and so could the snap. Painter's tape, that's true. Maybe, um, I'm wondering if that chalkboard tape I have would work because then I could use that stuff, you know? I think just, what if you put removable tape on the end of an envelope? I kind of want something darker. What if you did this? And then you wrote, you know? right and then when you're done so that could work right and to make this better you could put a little piece of regular tape over that is that a little overkill <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I've used painter's tape. That's the blue stuff, right? Actually, I'm gonna put these behind here and then I can see my envelope back there. I'm just trying to spread out the thickness. What do you think of that? Yeah, right, Chris? I know. I like using things I can already, already have on hand. That could work. I think something behind it would be good, though. You know? like a piece of, you know, something white behind it so I could see it easily. Oh, that's true, Lucille. Cecile. Yeah, the wet erase. I used to always advocate for those with our needle cases so they could organize their needles in the pockets and they could use wet erase marker. Dewey, there you go, Dewey Decimal. <laughs> Yeah, I think Cyro's right. I think some colors would help, you know? Oh, is that not gonna fit there? Come on, Sew House. <laughs> Play nice. <laughs> I mean, it almost fits. <clears throat> I'm gonna, this year, I'm gonna make this tea house dress as an uploaded video. That fit better. Colored, ooh, Felicity, that's a good idea. Colored index cards. <sighs> yep, exactly. <laughs> Little card catalog off to the side, Walter. <laughs> I love that these will be in bigger envelopes because right now, like this, you can see they just kind of skitter around on the table. And obviously I don't pull them out like this and put them on the table a lot, but I do find them to act like that kind of in the bin on the shelf too. You know, so this will 
help kind of give them a little bit more spread out real estate in there. I just saw this gal sew one of these on Instagram in like yellow fleece. It was really cute. This was my very first, I think, I think this was my very first uploaded garment video, like a full sew through. And it's really fast. It was before I even edited or anything, but I, um, it was such a fast sew. It was my needle sharp box. This thing needs a little bit of TLC. I think I'm just gonna cut the top off of this. You know? There we go. I'm a decisive person. No one can accuse me of not being so. <laughs> that looks better anyway. <laughs> okay, here's another box. Here's another box. And now there's nothing on the box. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Maybe I'll just tape that in there. Right? bad huh and no more box <laughs> I think this pattern's not being sold anymore and I know I talk about it a lot because I love it because it's on the bias but um there's not very many sizes I think that's probably part of the reason why they stopped I don't know I don't know I didn't get consulted <laughs> This is like sewists ASMR, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, totally Walter. I've seen that before actually with knitters. They use, um, <clears throat> what is it? It is some sort of card catalog like that for circular needles especially. I don't know why, but a soldi, a, a solda Teague, a solda Teague just popped into my head when you mentioned that. So I wonder if she did something with it. Um, okay. I sewed these as samples for a class I taught locally. Those were what I sewed to the sample to hang in the store. So this is another, does this, is this company around anymore? The sewing workshop? This is a really cool pattern to sew. It has it has two pant legs, but it's more like one side is a skirt and one side is the pant leg. It is so interesting. And some serious, um, you know, mental gymnastics to sew it. Mine, my, I did mine with wool on the outside and lining and it turned out so amazing. I sold that too. <laughs> I didn't even sell it. I, I didn't sell any of these things. I just gave them away. That's the worst part. See the flat sketch there? You use a giant notebook, Ray? The ragged top would have to be good. I think I'm just going to put this in here like that. There's so many patterns out there that have been done more than once. Am I right? <laughs> I kind of want to offset the bulk of the pattern though. I did make this. I hardly ever wear it. 
I always think it's not going to fit me okay, and then I wear it and it's great. I don't know why I have that idea. I think anything with a waistband makes me a little bit like, oh, that's just gonna bug me all day. It's gonna fit, I'm gonna fidget. It's not gonna sit right. And actually, this dress doesn't really do that at all. It's fine. In fact, the waist tie is on my mannequin right now because I keep bringing it here thinking I'll do something with it. And then I try it on and I'm like, it's fine, Jeremy, just wear it, you know? So. Oh yeah, Terry, that scrapbooking, man, that's a lot of supplies too. Oh, I'm getting in my third bag of them. Okay, that means I think, I think this means I've gone through 100 already. But I know I'm gonna have extras. I did kind of a little quick count before I ordered. And I was like, yeah, there's 50 here. No, it means I went through 50. So maybe I got, I have to see how these were sold. It doesn't say on the thing how many. I'd like to make a short version of this jacket. Do you think that would work? I feel like that might be not so flattering on me. Yeah, right, Adina? Exactly, and sweatshirts. <sighs> Brainline has so many patterns, but I really feel like we only talk about a few. This thing right here. I don't want that to cut me. <laughs> it's gone. Gone. I'm still putting the bulk on this side, and this is kind of skinny. But it's mainly because I really want to be able to see the back, you know? That'll be so nice just to, like, pull this out and look at it without having, you know, just because I'm organizing it doesn't mean I'm making my life harder. Maybe we should do like a pattern exchange program, you know? Hey, Michelle. Did you ever get the, the chat to work on that stream? Because uh, someone else said the same thing that the chat wasn't loading. Um, I'm still doing grain line. Oh, but this is style so mean, isn't it? No, this is. Wasn't I just doing green line only? Yeah, there's a green line. And didn't I do the port side duffel? So have seven, do I get port side duffel? I mean, let's try and keep them together. Crazy to think that there is a video for almost everything I am touching here today. <laughs> Let's just, I'm gonna keep that like that. Yeah, exactly, that's what I just did, Adina. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep that one full so that it, it doesn't get too thick. So here's another sprout pattern, and this is all I can find is the Lakeside pajama front shorts. <laughs> I know I've got the rest, but it was a sprout pattern, so I may not have the rest. Oh, I don't know. I've never bought PDF patterns from them. Are they, what are they doing? Oh, that's cool, Adina. Oh, that'd be fun just to do it like once a year. I like the idea of that. So Adina, where do you put all these? Since you are OG at this. Don't worry about the typos. I didn't even see any. Let me get rid of this thing. My local store, uh, this is how they display them. <laughs> I'll have to get rid of that. Checking my husband's not like, um, hello, I'm hungry. 
oh, my daughter's going to get her vaccine in like 20 minutes. I got to say good luck to her. <laughs> I said, do you want me to go with you? And she was like, well, kind of, but, you know, no, because I think it will be worse. <laughs> so, so speaking of the Wixton Howry, I have hesitated about this one because of a lot of the discussions surrounding cultural appropriation concerning, you know, garments and even garment construction you know terms centering around other cultures like the kimono sleeve and this howry um and so uh i but i couldn't find any information about this and i knew it had to be there had to be information out there on it and then someone on my one of my videos said i would really like to make a bunch of these but I'm having trouble finding the pattern. And I thought, okay, I'm going to look this up. She said she was elderly, and I just thought, okay, I'm going to try and help this person out and try and find the pattern because I couldn't find it for sale on the Wixton site. And so I was like, all right, I need to figure this out. And so then a person, another person saw her comment and, and uh, replied to her, which was really nice, and said that it's not called that anymore. It's called the unfolding jacket. So I rebranded all of my videos to reflect that and I also demonetized them is this sticking up past the thing it is yeah so um so if anyone's looking for those it's called the un unfolding jacket now and I'm also using that hashtag so in a cloth file cabinet box. oh yeah 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 that's cool okay wait where's my mouth I missed a few. I missed a few. The Streamlabs things really clutter the chat, don't they? Oh my god, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> Derp is a name. Yeah, Derp is a name company. Named is a company. A pattern company. Named clothing. Uh, I just had one of their patterns out here. Tops, dresses, bottoms. Co okay, cool, Adina. That's great. Oh, that's good, good, good for the reaction thing. My husband was sore and he felt really tired and a little lightheaded the next day, but that was it. Um, I don't know, Nancy. I feel like that's just something you need to explore yourself. I, for my part, it's, you know, I'm here to help people sew things. I happen to be making that for my mom recently because I have the pattern. And I had gotten her to try on mine for the sizing because my Suki wasn't a full length robe because I think she would have liked that one too. And so I was like, all right, I'm just going to do the Wixton pattern because we've tried it on her and I know where it fits her and stuff. <clears throat> and the Suki sleeve is much bigger. So that's why I made that one again recently. So I've made it three times on camera. There's there's six videos out. One There's four videos out. Four videos out. One where it's lined and there's part one and a part two. There's an unlined one in, in a boucle wool. And then I just made this unlined long length for my mom. I didn't even hashtag it Howery because I was like, I'm not com comfortable with that. So, um... And I've just been kind of paying attention and kind of keeping my ear to the ground. So I want people to be able to sew something, but at the same time, I want to also, oh, I can't get rid of her nice packaging. Um, I definitely want to honor what's going on. So anyway, if you're looking for that, I still have Howry in there. So if you're searching for it, because I feel like getting rid of it isn't a good way to let people know what's happening in the world because just i don't want to erase it off the face of the earth right all my videos i don't like the as far as the work goes it's fine like you know i only made 50 i looked at it 
for nine hours of video, I made $54 in ad revenue, which seems like that's, that's kind of cool, right? $54 seems like pretty good, but for two years, <laughs> they've been sitting on there nine hours of work, plus all of the supplies to make all three of those. I spent more than that just on my mom's robe in fabric, <laughs> you know, so I'm not doing it for the money. I do it for the educational part, right? So I don't mind demonetizing those to respect that. So and I think it's a good conversation to have, but I think you got to figure out where you stand in there and, and see what, I don't know, it's your, it's your uh, journey, I guess. And I think like it's hard because it, there's so much in our everyday, you know, like, are you going to stop buying sushi? No, I mean, that's supporting potentially an Asian owned business. So I, I would much rather support them, you know. You like that? I just cut that right off the bag. That looks pretty good. How did this come out right here? Her new packaging is so slick. Ooh, that kind of was a little bit of a tight fit. <laughs> so yeah, what's going on, Adina? What's what is happening with named clothing then? Why are, why is Nancy getting all those? Oh, I didn't have notes on this today. No. She has a new book coming out this year. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be great. I mean, I think it's going to be really great for people who are new sewists and want that kind of versatility of basics, you know? Yeah, so I was thinking, like, the, the, the Tibetan chupa or chuppa, it may be one I need to look at. Interestingly, the most of the views I get for that are not from our country, and they're, they're from Asian countries. And they're asking for the pattern. They're they're like, hey, where can I get this pattern? So it's kind of interesting. I don't really want to not help people. And that was the uh, sponsored stream. All right, what do I do with this? This is cool packaging too. You gotta admit. Yeah, and I think it's, yeah, you just got to see, like, I would pay attention to the conversations that people are having about it and see what they're saying, you know, and what, what Asian people are saying, especially. And I would want to be sensitive to that. But, you know, like, Diet Prada had a post recently about it, and... They were like, you know, keep going in the comments about all the things that are cultural appropriation. And that was an interesting, reading through those comments, I was like, okay, what isn't, you know? Because people were saying, you know, eating sushi and stuff like that. And I was like, well, I don't think that's cultural appropriation. It's, you know, I want to support those businesses. And I appreciate and respect the culture a lot. All right. Where's the little booklet? You have to make a booklet with these. Okay. Paper cut, you're cute. You're very, very cute. I love your packaging. But we need to have a talk about how much work it is to get your instruction book put together. <laughs> so we can start sewing. <laughs> very cute packaging. <laughs> it's not fitting in my nifty little thing here very well. But do you guys know that you have to make the pattern book? Look, I did, did this one wrong. I did this one right. This one went together okay. But you have to, you cut that off of the printed PDF and then you put it together. <laughs> I think I better put these up here. Yeah, exactly, Adina. Yeah, you gotta look at what it is. Because the last thing I would want to do right now, especially, is people to be so afraid that everything they're doing is cultural appropriation. Stop going to Asian grocery, stop going to Japanese restaurants, Chinese restaurants, whatever, you know. Um, and then those 
those businesses start suffering financially, you know? So pay attention. That's what I say. This is all nice and sealed. <laughs> Cricket just got there. She's super nervous. <laughs> Exactly, Nancy. And that's, I think, what you got to look at. Um, I, I, If you guys are interested, the her... So Wixton right now, if you go on her website and you look up the unfolding jacket, you'll find the pattern. It's only there till March 31st. And then she's going to stop selling it. And there's a link you can click to under, like she reads, she writes something there. It's really well written. And then there's a link for a further in-depth and it's not a very long thing, but it is a really good thing to read. You know, it's not her place to make money off of someone else's culture. Well, I mean, that's the thing, Walter. I mean, is French bread something that is you know, racially or ethnically or culturally significant. The French think so, that's for sure. And they actually have a pretty strong opinion about it. I don't know if you've been following that, Walter, but they want to make the baguette, I think it is. Or is it the croissant? They want to make it so that it's kind of like champagne. You can't call it that unless it's made um, in the spot. So I don't know. I am about as white as you can get. I am not the one to be able to tell you what is what. Yeah, but I was talking with a good friend the other day, you know, and living in California, so much of Mexican food and culture is entwined in our state and a lot of Southwestern states. And I was thinking, it would be really interesting if the Mexican population was like, yeah, stop appropriating our culture. Our streets, our cities, everything. Like Chico, you know, everything's very, it's very Mexican. My friend was like, we probably should just give the state back to them since we stole it from them in the first place and start there. I was like, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we have going. Yeah, that's the only possibility we'd have. So... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, Adina. It's like, a, yeah, a Disney character. Is it a Disney character or is it... Because, like, dressing up like um, a Native American or a Day of the Dead um, Kalaka or, or, you know, like Katrina Doll or... Um, a, there's a ton of, you know... That is cultural appropriation. If you're going to dress up as someone's native dress and you're not that culture, that's that's a perfect example of it. And I and I oh, I'm sure I'm guilty of doing that over the course of my lifetime. We're learning. Yeah, totally true. H grow, yeah. Yeah, and I think one person's opinion isn't enough. I would just try and pay attention to what's happening. I just want to stick these things in here because they're so tidy, but it's making it lumpy. So these are the Morgan jeans, though, so we can um, put this little sample in here now. So yeah, like I was thinking about, um, oh, because I was trying to think like, what have I done lately that probably was cultural appropriation? Inadvertent, inadvertent, you know? So one of the things I did inadvertently was I bought a ton of these napkins with origami paper cranes on there. Is that cultural appropriation, you know? So it's something I'm going to look at. Yeah, so a character, yeah, like, I mean, Disney character, yeah, so I don't know. I think, Adina, to, the way to maybe look at that is do 
Hawaiians feel that Lilo in general is a cultural appropriation. You know what I mean? Like, did, were Hawaiians okay with her in general? So maybe they didn't like it in the first place. Yeah, Nancy, I always think of you when I see these. Look at how nice these look. It's a little lopsided right now because I cheated on these two, these four. Oh, I have an extra one of these, funny enough. I hope this is the one I haven't, yeah, I haven't cut into this one. I have to give this away someday because I accidentally ordered two. about that I feel like it's it's the idea that someone is profiting off of, of your culture when they're not that culture you know if someone's going to be making money off of it when especially when maybe the people of that country aren't making enough money to even feed themselves and someone else who's not of that culture is gonna come in and make money off of it, that's not okay. Yeah, it's totally Nancy. That one fits you good. You know, have you made the um, Dawn jeans by any chance? Cause that's another non-stretch pattern of jeans I'm gonna make soon. I'm a little nervous. I ha I've gained a few pounds this year, more than a few, <laughs> and I'm just, I'm kind of I'm trying to be okay with it. I'm trying to be okay with it, but I'm kind of not okay with it. It was kind of a lot for me. And those Dawn jeans are kind of the, the you know un unstretchy jeans is kind of unforgiving. I kind of just slip these in between the closet case. Nice, Chris. Oh, cool. <laughs> You're, you can disagree, Michelle. I think it's just a good conversation to have. And we need to figure out where we stand on it. We haven't made this. What do you guys think of this one? I thought this was knit and woven, but it's knit and knit. So I'm a little on the fence with it now. Yeah, so the Dawn jeans, I just have it right here. <laughs> Ooh, I only have two more and then I'm gonna go. Because look at this stack, I have all these left to grow into. Yeah. Yeah, Nadine, I think that's a good way to put it. I think there there's definitely respectful ways people have done things and then there's some really not respectful ways people have done things um and when you see those side by side then you're like oh okay i did not know that's what we were talking about here because there is some pretty egregious <laughs> you know do you i can make oh Walter, you know, I have never been a fan of having clothes to as a goal. I have to admit. That being said, right now, I have like my first pairs of ginger jeans I made were bigger. And I just made the straight up ones from the package and they were pretty high waisted. And I felt they were a little kind of like too frumpy, you know, so um, then I kind of modified the fit a little bit and I liked those better. Now I'm only wearing those first couple pairs. Like I've been wearing them on repeat because they fit me better right now. And so in a way, I don't really have gold, pat gold garments, but I am kind of enjoying the fact that I have patterns for my body in different sizes. Night, Adina. Have a good night at school. 
You're such an inspiration. Thank you. I was so glad to see you were doing this. So thanks for all the tips. <laughs> Happy learning. Um, it was Michelle, I missed your reply about the chat. Did you ever get that to work? Shoot. Uh, 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 Michelle, what'd you say about the chat? Did it ever work for you? No, there were no chat options. Well, what the heck? Yeah, exactly, Nancy. I mean, that's the thing, right? When you start kind of looking at it like that, you're like, oh yeah, okay, we can do better. We can always do better, right? But I do think like, I do think like, with anything in life, when you start going, this is wrong, you go from one extreme and then you go to the other extreme and then you got to find this kind of wishy-washy happy mi middle, right? Some people might be okay with this. Some people might not be okay with this. Some people might be happy here. And so I think there's this little bit of lots of gray area and overlaps. We're all unique people and we're all different and what our experiences are really like lead us to how we feel about things. And I am the first to admit that the things that I believed in at one point or felt ways about, felt things about, I've changed over my lifetime and I've gone from one to the other and in the middle. And I think right now I'm kind of more in the live and let live. I really want to respect everybody without ha having my personal, you know, I don't know how to put that, but <laughs> so yeah, I think like right now we're in a period of self-examination and reflection and doing better and we're listening, hopefully. And there's a ton of people that aren't. And then there's a ton of people who are at the very extreme end, like in that Diet Prada post. And I was like, okay, you know, I was like, yeah, right on. And I started reading all the comments. I was like, oh yeah, maybe I don't feel right on about all these things, you know? Um, and so I just need to kind of listen and pay attention and stay in my lane, <laughs> you know, like only speak to the things that I know about. And as a, I mean, you know, like I think my heritage is probably a lot of Scandinavian and a lot of, um, Scott, Scotch, like Scottish, Irish, and Norwegian. And I don't know a whole lot about any of those cultures, to be honest. Except for that I have rosacea and blue eyes. <laughs> and I love pastries. And yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anything in me that is actually really reflecting those parts of my culture. Because I don't have anyone in my family that practices those things so yeah I, I exactly Walter and and Michelle see like I say I'm kind of liking having these different um, pairs of pants and you know every time I'm looking for the jeans in my closet I'm always like which ones are these I don't want to get these on and be like oh these aren't the ones I like wearing so I can I, I can tell by the pocket lining usually I know the two pairs that were the first two pair I made and then and then they kind of got better and better so I've been wondering you guys we need to design a system that is like it's like an easy like little image or color-coded system so where you because I want to know like are those my cropped jeans or are those the ones that go all the way down are they tapered are they narrow are they straight leg you know what I mean? <laughs> like I want, and same with shirts. Like, okay, I've made two archers. Is that the one that fits over a shirt or that one's not? I want like a little color coded system that's easy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this is. It looks so consistent now. All right, I have room for my empties. Maybe I'll offset these. What about the uh, adjustable waistband, Walter? <laughs> I laugh, but you know, like that was really handy for my kiddo. The elastic that comes out of a buttonhole in the waistband, you can cinch it up and let it out. <laughs> stretch denim, Walter, stretch denim. I 
All right, Nancy, have a good night at work. Don't work too hard or just, you know, you know, do your thing. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna head out to you guys. I'm really glad you guys all joined me for the surprise stream and um, I'll see you tomorrow. If some of you, I'll see you tomorrow to sew part one of the, I'm tired, the decades of style dress, 1940s New England dress. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. So have a nice night, you guys. So glad I saw some um, faces I don't get to see on the live stream lately. So I'll have more evening things like this. And I appreciate the conversation to you guys. So yeah, she is. All right, guys, take care, all right? I'll see you guys soon. Sleep well. Have a good dinner or lunch. I don't know where you're at. <laughs> all right, see you guys. Bye.